I just dropped a new video tonight. It's actually a remake of an old video, but it's it's a up it's like the remix. <laughs> Everybody isn't loyal. I love it. It's it's my favorite spoken word. It is. Like the words in that is just ah. So go on Facebook and listen to it. If you haven't listened to it, um like just go. Go to my page because and listen to every word. Because if you ever been like done wrong, like if you ever been in a situation where loyalty wasn't returned, you can relate to this video so much. I love it. What's up, y'all? From the land down under, that's what's up. I hope everybody's staying safe, man. Everybody's taking care of themselves. Everybody's healthy. Um, you know, tonight's one of these nights where, you know, I'm just going to like speak. You know, I always say speak from the heart. I always do that. But uh, I promised myself a few weeks ago that I would be. Uh, more open with my thoughts to the world and getting back, not saying that I changed or whatever like that, but getting back to just purely being who I am, you know what I'm saying? And really connecting uh, with my soul and giving that to the world. Um, I want to, I just actually posted this on my stories and like, it, I had so much to say. I was like, let me just go live. And so this might not be for everybody. If you don't have a Facebook, cool, I'll put it on YouTube uh, tomorrow. But um, this might not be for everybody, but it's probably for somebody out there. You know, don't let people put you in a box. Don't let society put you in a box. Don't let society put labels on you and tell you what you have to be, uh, what you have to do. Even if what you do is great and you're creating greatness in the world and society says, OK, you have to be this person. But if that person doesn't fulfill you, right, being that person doesn't fulfill you, then just know you don't have to be that person. And I know it's hard. You know, when the world wants you to be something right or the world validates something that you are, but that's not who you want to be anymore, whatever it may be. It gets tough. Right. And so um, the thing I want to share with you guys is tonight, what you guys tonight is like, go just when I say give your greatness to the world, like just go do the stuff that you want to do, you know, make sure it's positive, but do the stuff that you want to do. If you want to create an album, go create an album. If you want to create videos, go do videos. If you want to open up an ice cream store, go do it. Like you want to sell popsicles on it, like just go do it. You know, whatever creativeness that you have that you want to do, just go do it. Who cares if people don't like it? People don't agree with it. All of that. You know, when I started rehab time back in 2009, like it wasn't cool to be, you know, a motivational speaker then. It wasn't cool to, especially looking like me, it wasn't cool to be you know, yourself and be a speaker. Everybody has suits and ties and I'm not trying to take credit for changing the landscape of it, but I know I was one of the people that that made people really be themselves in this space. And um, that was back 11 years ago. In 2015, you know, obviously Rehab Time got super big because of you guys. And, you know, over the last few years, you know, people, you know, have uh, tried to put me in a box by saying, oh, you're a personal development guy or this or that. And I just had, to, I had this realization today as I was hiking and protecting my peace. I was just like, I'm none of that. Like, I'm rehab time. I'm who I am. So, yeah, I might go on stage and speak and do it with the best of them in the world. I might write a book. I might make a video. I might make an album. I might do a spoken word. I might create a workout. I might do whatever. And that's because my greatness can't be put in a box. And I say that to say your greatness shouldn't be put in a box neither. Um, this world wants you to be certain things and they put these labels like, don't let those labels stick because your freedom is you being yourself, right? Your freedom is you being fulfilled. You know, even people say, oh, financial freedom. <laughs> Listen, there's people that are financial, that have financial freedom that still ain't free. You know, there's people that are rich, but their soul is, uh, is poor. You know, so um, in life, you know, just get really in tune with what fulfills you. Get really in tune with what brings you excitement, what brings you joy. You know, as kids, we spend so much time chasing curiosity. We spend so much time just doing stuff like just creating with no like with no even thought of people judging us. Like I watch my daughter, Maya, she's three years old. She doesn't even know what's good or bad. She doesn't care. She just creates and as we get older, you know, we stop creating because we're afraid to be judged or we stop creating because 
people put us in a box or we stop creating because we're just getting older and we live the same old routine like an assimilation world and we just get bored and our creativity leaves and it's because we stop creating. And it reminds me of a musician. I remember when I used to do music and me and my friends, we would like just be in the studio like all night. We would lose track of time and we, we didn't, we're just doing stuff. Like we didn't know, we just wanted to do it. You know, and I remember when I first started rehab time, it was the same thing. I remember I would make videos and you know, this is before the world had an opinion of me. This is before the world knew who I was. I would just make videos, like just make it. And then as you get bigger, right? And this is just me being totally transparent. I'm sharing this because I don't want you guys to, you know, make the same mistakes that I made. Or, you know, if you're in this space, because I think it, once you become successful, um, a lot of other things happen, right? It doesn't mean that you're not staying true to who you are, because I'm always going to stay true to, who I, to who, I, who I am. But when you get, as you start to grow, your creativeness, right? You start to think about, okay, what people want from you. Okay. You start to think about, okay, this is what the world wants from me. This is what I should create because this is what people want. And I'm not telling you to ignore that. If you have a gift to people, but you can't ignore what fuels your soul. You can't ignore what excites you. You can't ignore what keeps you curious. You can't ignore what challenges you, you know? And so that's the journey that I'm on right now. I don't want to be put in a box. I'm going to do some stuff that people are going to probably look at me like, what is Trent doing? Like what? And I don't care because I have to do this for myself and I encourage you to do the same thing for you. So whatever it is, whatever journey you want to go on, like go on that journey, like be different. Um, and that's one of the biggest things that separated me in this space, this motivational space is that I was different. I wasn't willing. I didn't want to be like the typical personal development guy. I didn't want to be like the typical motivational. I didn't want to be like that. I just did what I knew how to do. And so, uh, so yeah, man, that's just kind of like a message that I wanted to share. It was just on my heart today as I was hiking and protecting my peace. You know, um, I see so much greatness get contained because you think about what the world's going to think about it. You think about what the next person's going to think about it. Listen, the first step to being unhappy is trying to please everybody. There's people who are not going to like what you do. There's people who are going to change, you know, um, but sometimes you got to make that album for yourself and not for the people. Sometimes you got to do things that that fuel you and fulfill you and go on to that journey. And it's OK, you know, because um, if you're not growing, you're dying. And that's a decision that I made this year that I'm going to do everything I want to do. So you guys going to hear an album from me. You guys going to see movies from me. You guys going to see everything. More spoken words because I love spoken words. Um, all of those things. And I'm going to still give you guys, you know, what you guys love at the same time too. But you're going to see a lot of nature walks with me. You're going to see a lot of that stuff because those are the things that really fulfill me and really excite me. And, um, you know, everything else is cool too. I love everything else, but yeah, man. And even even this too, like be careful being around people who try to take credit for, for what you do. You know, it's so funny because, you know, um, and respectfully, because you have to, at the same time, when you're growing what you're doing, like you can't expect someone to, you know, put you on or someone to uh, help you out. You know, I mean, you have to earn earn respect. You know, you got to put in the work yourself. And, uh, you know, I did that for 10 years. Like, I don't know if there's a speaker out there who put in as much work as me. I don't know. Maybe it is. But you guys know I went on 32 city tours. I went from city to city. Like uh, it was it was a lot. And I wouldn't trade it for nothing, obviously. But, you know, rehab time grew because of that. It grew because of rehabbers. I didn't have somebody shot me out. I didn't have someone, you know, be my big brother. I didn't have anybody like that. Now, over the last few years, I've made connections and relationships, but it's only because of, you know, 10 million followers on Facebook, you know? So, um, but you'll have people that will try to take credit for the work that you put in. And you got to check those people, let those people know, like, I appreciate what you're doing and what you did for me, what you're going to do for me. But, you know, this was this was be being built, you know, years in the making, years in the making. And so um, just keep grinding, just keep taking your life to the next level and just keep being creative, man. That's what it's all about, just being creative. And um, that's what excites me. And so this last this last few weeks, man, I've been so excited just to create, even like my video, like loyalty, um, everybody's in loyal tonight. Like that's one of my favorite videos. And, you know, I know it's not going to be my most viral video, but it's my most impactful video for myself and I love it. And, uh, 
just brings a smile on my face. Like I've created videos that, you know, everything is pure for me, by the way. So I'm not saying I'm creating stuff just to create it, but I've created videos that I've liked and that went mega viral, 200 million views on Facebook. Um, but I've created videos that I've liked more personally that, that, you know, from my standards didn't go viral. And I'm okay with that because I like creating stuff. <laughs> and so, um, yeah, if you take nothing from the night, just don't let people put you in the box because your greatness can't be put in the box. And don't let, don't, when I mean by people, like even, even your fans and followers, right? Don't let them put you in the box um, because they'll want a certain thing from you. It's like a, it's like a, again, the best way I can put it, it's like an artist, you know, like I, I say that all the time, like an artist creates an album that everybody loves and then people get mad when the artist like goes on this whole journey, you know, like Wheezy did that with, um, with his rock, you know, Kanye did that with his singing, you know, and people don't like, man, like I want this, I want this, the 2000 and you know, I want this one. And, you know, while you can keep giving the world that person, if that's not fulfilling, you're going to lose yourself. And so you have to do things for yourself. And some people understand, some people won't. But at the end of the day, fulfillment is what you need. Peace is what you need. You know, so uh, I want to share that with y'all just from a place from where I'm at. And if I can do anything differently, I would have um, probably come to terms with this a little bit earlier, just to be honest, um, because, you know, I felt like I stopped writing. I stopped doing things because I knew it would work, you know, just to be real. I, I knew what people wanted and I want to give people what they wanted. Obviously, I want to help as many people as I can. But in doing that, I wasn't giving myself necessarily what I needed to at the same time. And so um, as a creative, you have to give yourself what you need to while still catering to what people need also. So um, you got to find that balance somewhere as you create. And um, yeah, and forget titles. You know, people say, train your personal development coach. No, I'm not. You know, I'm all for personal development. Cool, work on it. But I am rehab time, you know, because ain't, no, ain't, ain't too many people in personal development that can get on stage and do a spoken word. And ain't no, it ain't too many people in personal development that can, you know, do a lot of things. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, I don't want to be put in that box. I don't want to be put in any type of box. I don't want to be put in, I need to change my, my titles on my Instagram bio. I don't want to be put as a motivational speaker. I just want to be Trent. A person who cares to help lives in any type of way. Uh, yeah. Yeah, a lot, a lot of people get caught up in popularity. They do. Yeah, because I'm not, I'm not even going to say successful people. Everybody does. Like, for so, if you're on social media and you just have the thought of, I'm going to just, I'm going to just, social media has really made this tough. But if you're on social media and, um, if you ever have the thought of like, I want to post this, but it's not going to get a lot of likes, you're caught up in the system. And we've all done that. Let's be real. We've all done that. Um, we've all got to the point like, should I post this? Like, I really love it, but I don't know if they're going to like it. We all do that. Do that. You know, and uh, I got to a place a few years ago where I'm just like, I don't care about that. I'm just going to give what I want to the world, whether people like it or not. It fulfills me. And so... um yeah, you know, popularity is dangerous. Success is dangerous. I'm actually writing a spoken word right now that talks about that. You know, I tell people, you know, the best way to find yourself is to is to seek peace. You know, let peace lead your life. But so many times we're led by followers, we're led by significance, we're led by fame, we're led by all these things that we think is going to fulfill us. But there's so many successful failures in the world. Right? There's so many people who work harder but don't have time to see their daughter. There's so many people stacking funds, but not around to raise their son, right? Stuff like that. That's a successful failure. And um, I refuse to be be that person. And I'm not that person. And so I want to stand up for for just people. Just I, I want to show y'all that real, like behind the scenes. Like, you know, I, I know a lot of y'all look up to me, whatever. Like I told I told him on stage in Toronto, I don't want to be your hero. Like if you, I don't want to be your hero. I want you to look in the mirror and find your own hero. But I want to just show you the other side of this stuff because a lot of people in my position, a lot of people in this space, they don't tell you this stuff because they want to they want to sell you perfection because, you know, they got something to sell or they want you to look up to them even more. So they want to seem like they have all the answers. And so uh, because a lot of people in the social media world, we buy perfection like, oh, this person knows it all. OK, let me follow this person. 
And I always say, if you're following somebody that has never kept it a buck with you, if you follow somebody that's never had a conversation like this with you, never like had a reality talk with you, transparency talk, and not that fake transparency to make you feel sorry for them so they can sell you something. I'm talking about that real transparency talk, then I wouldn't follow it. Like for me, I don't want to follow a person that's that's just perfect. I don't want to follow a person that don't got no struggles because I know that ain't real. I know they smiling for the camera, but dying behind the scenes, you know, at the end of the day. So, um, and I want y'all to know that too. Like when you get on this social media stuff, man, stop, you know, stop hiding behind, you know, uh, filters and perfection. Like it's okay to be who you are. You know, I could be way more popular, way more popular than I am now easily. Like it's, it's simple, but I, I'm not willing to sell my soul for that. I'm not willing to ignore who I truly am. I'm not willing to lose myself for all, for that stuff. I'm not. So I'm never going to like play this role of Hollywood for you. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, I have it all figured out. Hell no. Nah, I ain't doing that because I know the result of that and it's losing yourself. And there's so many people that are perfect online, offline, and life is a mess. And um, it's not worth it. It's not worth it. It's really not. But uh, yeah, I just wanted to share that with y'all, man. Just have some conversation. I know it's kind of late. I'm about to get to bed. And um, yeah, I just hope it helps somebody. It was just on my heart. And so I was like, man, let me come on live and share this. Yeah. It's crazy, man. It's like WWE. It's WWE, man. A lot of people really ain't about that life. That's all I'm going to say. It just, it's just WWE. And I ain't trying to talk down on anybody. But it's just like, I don't know, man. And we live in an age of information overload. Everybody got the answers. It's just crazy. Like everybody's trying to be. Uh, and, and listen, I'm the first person to tell people, like, share your story. If you don't share your story, you're selfish. But what I don't agree with is people trying to position themselves as somebody when they haven't put in the work to be that somebody. Like, I promised myself that I wouldn't even release a course until it hit a decade. My first course, or I, our coaching, until I hit a decade. I, didn't, I was like, I'm not going to ask, I'm not going to coach anybody until I have a decade of putting in work on myself. And so, um, it was last year that I, that I started coaching people because I spent 10 years of working on myself. But, you know, everybody wants to be this person or this figure, or they want to be famous, or they want to position themselves. And, you know, I don't know, man. It's just, it's whack. Is whack. It's getting to a place like, honestly, for me, being a person that's like been doing this for a while and, and, and have seen this transition, it's like, I can't even get on my app a lot because I'm just like, man, what? But everybody's quick to put out information because we're in an information race. You know, even the media, they, they'll put out misinformation to be the first person to put out information. And that's what it is. Like, people don't even apply it to their own life. They just talk about things that sound good. Let me put this out. Let me sell people dreams that I ain't living so they can buy it. And that's the world we live in. Or or let me be this person to capture people's attention. Let me act like I'm all loud and crazy and that ain't really me. <laughs> it's, like I said, man, I, I'm not about to sit here and uh, talk about anybody, but teach his own, do what you do. But all I got to say is, man, just be transparent, be real, um, give your gift to the world and don't don't fall for the trap of social media or any of this stuff. Seek fulfillment and peace. That's what life is about. It's not about a bank account. It's not about having millions of followers. This, and this is me telling you this. Somebody who has it. It's not about none of that. It's about having fulfillment and peace. Because all those things, having all those things without fulfillment and peace will still empty, will still equal an empty life. An empty life. All right, so... You guys have a good night, man. Let's get on live. We talking about, you want to get on live, bro? You want to ask me a question? All right, I'll bring you on live. What's up? We here, so let's do it. Yeah, everything ain't fake, though. Um, everything isn't fake. I know somebody said that. I don't think everything is fake. I just think people are too quick to put out information. To be, people are want to be popular. And I just, I, for me, I never want to be that person. Like, and this is facts. Anybody who knows me on here, they'll tell you. They'll tell you straight up. I'm probably the most down to earth person that you ever will meet. Ever. You know what I'm saying? When it comes to this stuff. Like, that's the thing I get all the time. People always say, man, like, you're so real. And I'll be like, is that, like, why is that a surprise? Like, why is it a surprise that I'm, like, 
But it is because you don't have a lot of people, you know, when people meet people that they look up to in person, it's a whole different vibe that they get from them. And uh, energy don't lie. And so anybody's ever met me in person, they'll tell you straight up, like, the same person I am on here, the same person I am in person. Like, you know, I'm all of that stuff. So, um, but I just think people are trying to put out too much information. And uh, we live in an age of information overload. And we wonder why we're stressed and all that type of stuff. What up, man? Yeah, I still I still write music. Oh, what's up, Ken? <laughs> yeah, I still write music, bro. Um, let me see. Like, you want to come on here? Hold on, I'm trying to figure this out. Oh, hold on. I don't want to do that. Uh, there we go. All right, I'll bring you on, bro. It's good. Don't be coming on here with no spotty internet. What's up, bro? Yo, what's up, bro? Hey. Oh, what's good, man? How you been? There you what's good? What's good, man? Can you hear me? Man, chilling, bro. Hey, I just... Yeah, I can hear you. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. I can hear you. Bro, I just got back from Eagle Mountain today, and we found some new trails, bro, that we never knew existed. It's crazy. It's like a whole new world out there. I gotta bring. Yeah, when you come to forward, I gotta show you. Like, yeah, like dope trails. Like, I was like, dang, this exists. I feel like I was in. The, I feel like I've never been. So it was cool. Dang. All the time you went. Fun? Man, <laughs> I have been. Bro, I've been going there for like nine years, bro. And it's it's packed it's get it, like it's it's packed now, but yeah I went yeah like you see on my stories like it was like just some like down in the valley parts man and just yeah it was crazy I was like man this is cool so we me and Shane we shot a video out there today while we worked out too. That's what's up, man. That's what's up. What question? What question you got, man? Hmm. Um. Our statement. Either one. <laughs> uh, yo, but my thing is, uh, can you see me? No, nah, I can't see you, but I can hear you. I can see you. It's it's frozen, but I can hear you though. So you can keep talking. Yeah, my, yeah, mine's frozen too. Um, hmm. I had a couple questions, man. Like a like a week ago. All right, so let me see if I can remember. Um, it had to do it had to do with relationships, right? Yeah. So, all right. So, I'm in a relationship now with somebody, right? Mm -hmm. And growing up, I had a you know, um, growing up, I wasn't able to see like you know parents because Nigerians don't they not they're not really affectionate like that. A lot some of them. You know, so like, it's kind of hard to uh, you know uh, show your love to someone. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, when you don't have that type of example um, at home. Yeah. So what what do you think I should do? Because you're somebody who um, admire, somebody who's who's married. You know. Yeah. And somebody who I feel is qualified for me to ask this this type of question or advice advice you know mm -hmm. um so uh what do you think i can do about the affection part you know yeah so that's a great question bro um and that plays a huge part in everything that we do like how we're raised like i always say like every human being every adult you know it, it may be not as extreme some extreme some not extreme but we're all trying to recover for our, from our childhood and we all have to unlearn what we've been taught, you know, um, because we have to, even from our parents, because we have to realize our parents, you know, growing up, I think we all saw our parents as like superheroes, like they can't do nothing wrong, you know, and all that stuff. But like, we got to realize they're a human being too, trying to figure out how to love and figure out how to do certain things or the way they were taught, continuing the cycle. So the first thing I would tell you um, is to, to develop your own meaning of, what love is for you right and what it means to give that type of love uh what it means to give that type of, of, of affection 
And, you know, I think sometimes, you know, um, I know as men, we could be kind of hesitant to actually be affectionate. Um, you know, I know growing up, that was called being soft. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, you, like you get clowned for yeah. that. You know what I'm saying? Especially soft work. <laughs> work. You know, you get clowned for that. Yeah. So but you have to, like, break that, that stereotype, um, break that, that, that norm that's in your life. And you got to go on that journey. You know, you can read books and you know, always say, you know, seeking information is is necessary, but you got to be careful in the information that you seek because everybody's situation doesn't necessarily pertain to you. But um, I would just go, I would go on that journey, bro. Um, I would I would open up my heart. And this is the thing that people don't understand about me because they, they hear my videos and they think I, I'm telling people like, oh, close your heart. You know, no, like open up your heart, open up your trust, because if you don't, then you're basically building a wall, right? And the wall that is preventing things from going out is also preventing things from going in. And so, um, yeah. yeah, you have a risk of getting hurt. You have a risk of, you know, um, your trust being ab all the abuse, all those things. But at the end of the day, um, you can live and learn from that, bro. So I would just tell you to open up, man. Open up and go for it and be true to your true feelings. Because I know you're soft inside anyway. So... <laughs> <laughs> he <looking> like that. <laughs> oh <laughs> man, that's <laughs> yeah. It's okay, you, I mean, bro. It's okay, you know me bro. well, bro. You know, go write some. Poems. I learned it from my dad. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> go, go write some poems. You know what I'm saying? Like, go show, like you, look at my tattoo I just got from Maria. Look, I just got that. Okay. So, like, okay. Yeah, so I might take go get no tattoos. Like I don't want to take it that far. Get you know, make sure make sure she the one first. You know, yeah, but, uh, yeah, I feel that. But yeah, man, you know, I, I don't think there's like a, a direct way for me to say you do this, you do this. You know, I just feel like you break those curses, you unlearn, you realize that you know your parents are your parents, but you're not your parent. You know, you and you have to your parents, and you have to discover love and what it means for yourself and go on that journey. And you're gonna mess up, you're gonna figure out different things, man. But uh you know, as you, as you go on it, you know, you'll learn more about yourself, you know, love, you know, one book I'll tell you, like the love languages is a good, great book. Um, I read that book yeah. and it, you, you, have you, have you heard of that book? Five love languages? No, I haven't. No, yeah, I haven't. Check out that book, man, because it's important because, you know, everybody has a different love language, right? Um, and so when you're, when you're in a relationship, obviously a relationship means, Baseball, marriage means two people are coming together, but you're dealing with someone else. Yeah. And so it becomes you and it becomes we, it, became, it becomes us. And I think some of the mistakes that I made just growing up. So many tripping on here. What are they talking about? <laughs> <laughs> yo, somebody's tripping, yo. <laughs> what are they talking about? Said, yo, I got foot fetish, man. Do you have nice feet? Oh, my God. Uh, <laughs> My feet look all right, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> but listen, bro, like, so you, so, so you have, that's funny. But you're not, you're not supposed to, but you can't, you're not supposed to respond to the to the crazy comments because then that just invites other people to start doing it. You gotta just overlook. Ah, uh, yeah, I feel you, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I'm learning, bro. I'm learning. <laughs> but uh, just just check out the book, man, because you start to realize, like, because how you give love doesn't mean that that's the way they receive it. So say in my situation, yeah. like, like Maria might tell me like once words, I, Maria could tell me all the nice things in the world. Now I appreciate it, you know, but it's not going to hit me as like support does like, or, you know, supporting what I do because I'm a person that receives love in a supportive way. I'm a person of action. So you got to realize right. what you're dealing with and how you receive love too. And so, once y'all get that understanding, it makes the relationship a lot better. Because sometimes they're like, oh, this person doesn't love me because they didn't buy me flowers. And so Maria knows I hate getting flowers, but I also know she loves getting right. flowers. Right. I, told her, I told her the other day, I was like, why do you want flowers? They die. I'm going to get you a tree. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. That's funny. Or oh, she a pet. <laughs> yeah, grow forever. We can look in the backyard. And our love grows, man. They ain't supposed to die, man. Flowers die. But yeah, yeah, bro. So yeah, man. One, I got one more. I got one more question, bro. If you don't mind. All right. Yeah, so bro, for sure. You know how like, uh, I mean, you know me. You know me pretty well, right? 
you know, and like, um, I know that I have like some issues with like confidence, you know what I mean? Yeah. So like, how do I like work on that confidence without, you know, going, uh, too much the other way, you know what I mean? Wait, 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 wait. Like, like pride, you know what I'm saying? Oh, okay. So you don't be like, you don't have to be cocky. You just want to be, okay, I got you. So. Right, right. When it comes to confidence, bro, like, I mean, there's so many things I could tell you, but I think confidence comes, oh man, I could talk for an hour on this. So like one thing of confidence is like giving yourself permission to not be perfect. You know what I'm saying? Like, think about it like this. Yeah. Playing sports, right? Like if you went out there and a receiver and you like, dang, I gotta I gotta run every route right, I gotta catch every ball, like you're not gonna be as confident because you're gonna be thinking about it. Then basically you just go out there and say, you know what, I'm gonna play as best as I can play. And so I'm gonna just ball out right. that way and then it's gonna happen. But you get to that point because of repetition. Right? The more you put in work in something, the more you'll be confident at it. And then when it comes like as far as like emotional confidence, not necessarily like physical, like in something that you're doing, but emotional confidence, belief in yourself, you gotta realize, bro, like the thing, the thing that helps me understand is, like, there's nobody like you in the world, man. And I know you, that sounds, yeah. like, motivational, but it's not. Like, you're unique, and that's your gift. And, like, there's nobody like you. And so that always brings confidence in me. And confidence can be silent, bro. Like, you don't have to talk a lot to be confident, you know? Yeah. Like, you know me. Like, I'm a introverted person by nature besides when I'm having to speak. And so um, don't be afraid of being confident. Um and people who respect your greatness will respect you for that. You have people who don't like you, people who say, oh, you're cocky, whatever. Yeah. They're projecting themselves upon you. And so um, give yourself permission to fail. Give yourself permission to not be perfect. Give yourself permission to fall down. Give yourself permission to be your authentic self. And I think that's the way you build confidence, by showing up to the world, showing, sure. showing up to the world as you. It, and go man. and go and go do Thank like you. go do what's on your heart, bro. Like, and I know, like, and I I know you. So, like, whatever it is that you want to yeah. do, go go do it, bro. Like, because it's hard to be confident in life when you're not doing what you want, when you're not doing what you're called to do with your life, right? Yeah. Like, so whatever yeah. that thing is, bro, just go for it. And somebody just said you yeah. display confidence by asking the question. It's good. All right, bro. Appreciate you so much, man. Let's get it, man. You, you still in L.A.? Bro. Yeah, I'm still in L.A. <laughs> I'm going to be out there soon, man. We're going to have to get it in. Go hit up running. For sure, bro. For sure, bro. All right, bro. For sure, bro. Hey, much love to you, bro. Let's get it. Dude, oh, boy, want to see your feet, too, by the way. So DM me your feet. No, I'm, I'm... <laughs> <laughs> All right, bro. All right, bro. <laughs> Oh, man. I'm proud of that kid, man. I've been knowing Ike for a long time, man. Proud of him seeing his growth. And, you know, what he didn't tell you, you know, he went to L.A. to chase, you know, to go out there and, and chase the greatest version of himself. And so, like, you know how it is going to L.A. You know, L.A. is a tough city. So, um, for him just sticking with it and seeing his growth over the years, I'm super proud of you, man. I know you're still on here. I'm proud of you, bro. And uh, I'm about to get out of here, man. I'm tired. And so I'm about to get some sleep. The family comes home tomorrow. They're actually in Indy right now visiting uh, the in the in laws, so uh, they'll come back here tomorrow. So it's just me and Titan at the crib. So I'm about to get some sleep because I when the kids come back, you know what's funny? I slept to like 11 o'clock today. I've never slept in that long. I, I was like, I am catching up on about eight years of sleep. <laughs> but uh, yeah, man. So whatever you took from today, apply it. If you didn't need it, cool too. All right, let's get it. Good night.